right, we're gonna take another look at another portable monitor. We're gonna take a look at it today. All right, Coco Bar portable monitor. So let's go ahead and open it up. All right, they give you a, a glass protector, all right, for the front. <coughs> they give you a glass cleaner, and um, so you can actually put it on the actual protector. Uh, type C to regular USB, power, a power a brick, a little brick instructions how to install it and then they give you another um c type c to type c in case you have only type c on your laptop and then they do give you an actual micro hdmi to hdmi connection so we're going to get this going with an actual power because when you open it up you get this instructions how to set it up um very simple but it's like a sticker in here so we're going to go ahead and remove it and start peeling and adding the other one in here uh, little screenshots if you can see they do sell a mount for it but right now this is a magnetic mount if you can see a b you can open it up and it folds into th three different positions too so we're going to go ahead and take this off and add the actual um, cover all right let's take a look at the side here and you got a type c in here type c you got another type c and then the micro uh, hdmi in here um this is a little flimsy um i don't like how it's holding I had a lot of little bubbles. I, I I didn't put the actual cover very properly. I just put it rushed it. But on the other side, you got the contrast. You got your power button, your contrast, and your menu button here. And then you got a 3.5 jack in here too. So um, this is the fold out. Magnetic is supposed to magnetize this tie, but it's not touching very good if you notice. And you can't even fold this yet. Um, plastic heart, plastic in the back. But pretty much that's it. Um, we're gonna go crank it up and see how it looks. All right, we're gonna run a test, an external test for a, a laptop Surface Studio. We're gonna run it with one cable pretty much. It's a type C. We have a generation, third generation on this one, on the type C. It should be able to power and display the system. If not, we could always install the extra power. So we're gonna see if it can even handle this stuff. So we're gonna plug in. And of course, if you guys have the studio or you know about it, there's two USB type C's. So we're gonna plug it in. And unfortunately, the studio has it on the left hand side instead of the right. So we're gonna move it to here and we're gonna see what we can display. We're gonna plug one in. All right. So the USB, one USB cable actually went to the surface itself. And if you guys can see, I don't have a touch screen at all here and we're actually duplicating the actual screen. We're gonna go ahead and kill this right now. We're gonna minimize this. We're gonna play it on the audio. All right, this is the audio that we're running it from here. And it's not loud, so you're gonna need actually uh, maybe some headsets to run it. So just to give you a, a little demo of how it works, all right? And we're running two systems into one. The display is really quality is really good. I wish they had included a couple of things, a better stand, because unfortunately the stand behind it, it doesn't hold the pretty, pretty well. And sometimes I struggle with it. So that's the only thing I have. Uh, I like that it comes with its cover, everything. Um, I like that it has a lot of features, like I'm using one cable and they give you the extra cables in case you don't have that option. They have the regular USB to type C and then they have the micro HDMI to regular HDMI. So that's a great option to give you. But unfortunately the stand is where I kind of draw the line. It's a little difficult, even though they give you instructions, you might have to mess around with it. And um, the lightweight is perfect. If it's case you're gonna be traveling and moving around, this is a perfect item. 